Hello and welcome to a three-part video series from Roto Dynamics Inc. discussing the rotational molding cycle. Over the course of this series we'll be discussing the three different stations which are a part of the rotational molding process. As you can see here, the arm is moving from the cooling station to the unloading and loading station where it will be prepared to demold the plastic parts from the previous cycle. Note how the arm is being rotated on two points, the arm rotation and the plate rotation. The machine operator will use this to his advantage to position the mold in a preferred position for demolding. For demonstration purposes, we'll have two machine operators focusing on one mold, whereas usual, usually in a production cycle, we'll have two machine operators working on multiple molds at the same time. As you can see there's a machine operator removing some bushings from the underside of the mold. These bushings hold any threaded inserts that are molded into the plastic part. Now he's beginning to move the first piece of the mold. This is a three piece mold. Um, all rotational molds tend to be two or more pieces. And they're almost complete, uh, removing all the bushings. Now he's going to pry the first piece of the mold off, as you can see here, exposing the molded part from the previous cycle. And then he'll begin to remove the second piece. And there you go, the part has been ejected from the previous cycle. We'll now prepare the mold for the next cycle. This will begin by placing the threaded inserts into the mold. As you can see here, he's holding a bushing from the outside and screwing the insert to the inside of the mold. This ensures that the inserts stay in place during the molding cycle. We'll talk more about this later on in the next stage of the video process. Okay, now they're putting the second piece of the mold back together. Now they're loading the mold with resin. This resin has been accurately weighed before they pour it into the mold to ensure that the part meets the customer's specifications. Third and final piece of the mold is, is now being placed in position. And it is ready for the next stage, which is the heating stage. We'll pick up there in the second part of the video series.